So tonight I'm doing a little surprise cabaret spot in one of my favourite London clubs as a warm up ahead of my full show next weekend. Which means that this morning my diary looks like this. So I better get on that. But first... <laughs> Well, apparently I've remembered how to do what I do, so let's go to work. It's dark backstage, I hope you can see me. So, yeah, show starts in an hour or so. Um, I've had a warm up. Um, I'm looking forward to shouting at strangers in a small socially distanced room in the West End and having a play. I've missed playing with people and not knowing what's gonna happen and that's a big part of why I do this. So, yeah, really looking forward to that. I mean, sure, all the cliches. Um, I'm on my way home, I'm sweaty under my suit, my voice is a little bit sore. Uh, a drag queen singing a song from Wicked made me cry while I was sat backstage. Uh, I think I did okay. I was a little bit rusty, but they laughed and they clapped, so yeah, that wasn't bad. I could do that again. Yes, it's the morning after and I'm knackered. Uh, sometimes I think I focus so much on the joy of performing in cabaret that I forget what hard work it can be. So sometimes on the morning after you have a little more clarity about the events of the night before. So, I was really moved by how hard and smart and sensitively everybody involved in the show worked last night. I watched everyone at the venue pull together to make that room as safe as they could possibly make it. I, I, I watched them literally measure distances between tables, uh, sort out a low contact system for ordering drinks. There was a serious amount of work going on to make sure that venue was as safe as they could possibly make it. And that's what cabaret venues have always been, a safe place. safe for you, whoever you are, safe from all the worries outside, and in this case, safe from a stupid bloody virus. For me, there was something interesting and powerful about doing a show in the basement of a huge West End theatre that was closed. Cabaret is like that. It grows in the cracks. There's not enough water or sunlight for the big shows right now, but us hardy little weeds, we're the green shoots. We pop up all over the place wherever people want to watch. 
and that feels pretty nice to be a part of. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please do like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with anyone that you think also might enjoy it. And if you're not doing so already, please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to support me making more things, then please do consider clicking the link underneath this video and donating me the price of a cup of coffee so I can keep wolves away from doors. Thanks a lot. See you next time.